All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is looking at ways to avoid burnout. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. Understand how you can stay motivated. Stay tuned for this video, guys. I do want to give a quick shout out to Yuke's Maru, guys. I have a link in my description down below. He hosted a trivia game show about Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. It was me and two other content creators who are both amazing, Darth Lakoder and Fatal or, you know, like Playbook. They are both fantastic guys. Go check out their channels as well. They've got a lot of really good content. But I have the tri trivia show down below in the link. Again, go check it out and give Yuke's Maru a subscri subscribe to his channel, guys. It's it's free, just like mine. Go subscribe there. Subscribe here. Subscribe to Fatal. Subscribe to Darth Lakoder. Subscribe to, like, guys, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to any content creator. It helps us all. It keeps this content flowing. So make sure you guys do that. And again, you guys know the drill here. We want you to subscribe because Wampa wants Relic 8. If Wampa hits Relic 8, guys, I hold a special live stream, right? We're going to hit 5,000 subscribers, I should say. 5K, Wampa hits Relic 8. You guys get to watch that live. We'll do some other fun stuff on the stream, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. All right, so let's talk about ways that you can avoid burnout, right? As Darth Vader would say, not only do I find your lack of faith disturbing, but perhaps I can find new ways to motivate them. Uh, so what how do you avoid burnout so you've got to keep the faith right and i have them here for a reason keep the faith in capital games i understand there's a lot of things that sometimes in this game you feel like oh it's just a smack in the face i mean the whole reva situation right now really has me upset i'm not going to pretend that it doesn't you guys know that but i know that cg has a plan they did not create this new rise of the empire territory battle for it to just be the you know collapse after a few months like it is intended to last for years and they're trying to do that so they have a plan i do believe it's there i can gripe along the way all i want but i do not i've not lost my faith in capital games that they do not have a direction for this game to head i think they have a clear direction and that they're just trying to navigate the best that they can right they are human so i will give them that so make sure guys just don't lose your faith right that's that's rule number one of burnout don't lose your faith all right Guys, all the small things, right? You gotta celebrate all of the small things. Hopefully you guys get the reference to what band that is. Put that in the comments section if you know what band sings that. It's probably one of my favorite bands of all time. But celebrate the small things. And what I mean by celebrate the small things here is maybe you get a good mod, right? The other day, uh, where is it? My, uh, is it on him? Who's it on right now? Oh, it's on my General Skywalker, that's right. Where is he at? Like the other day, I got a really nice mod for my General Skywalker here where I rolled 11% protection, got some speed. I'd love to get that tenacity off and more speed, but again, that's not a bad mod for General Skywalker. Like, celebrate that kind of stuff, right? Oh, you know, I just am, you know, I'm getting closer and closer to Jabba the Hutt. You know, celebrate those little milestones, those small things, they add up. I think sometimes we get so caught up in the only things you should celebrate are hitting these massive galactic power milestones and getting galactic legends or really good ships. Like, celebrate the small stuff along the way and you're gonna have a lot more enjoyment out of the game, guys. I think that one of the biggest problems with the burnout is you you don't take a moment and take that breath to say, wow, like I got Kylo Ren on Master Relic 7. You know, that's the first step in the long path to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. That's a big deal. That's a, you know, that's a Relic 7 is no small thing, guys. So celebrate the small things. All right, um, now as my wife says, <laughs> size matters not. Uh, now, she's obviously talking about, you know, my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes roster and, you know, not other things, right? You know, but, um, so to get back on topic here, right? No, seriously, size doesn't matter. And it, what I mean is, like, don't compare your, what I really meant by this, I'm like so off track now, guys. Whew. Uh, no, what I mean by this is that you can't compare yourself to a roster that's above you. Like, I'm not going to compare myself to a 10 million Galactic Power roster or even nine and a half million, right? Like, compare myself to people who are around my Galactic Power. Compare, And then even then, don't compare myself to somebody who is spending money if I'm not or vice versa. Find that match and that's so hard to do, but that's kind of the whole point of that, right? If you're a 2 million Galactic Power player, don't be looking at my account thinking you need to be here tomorrow, right? I've invested years into this game like you, once you hit that point, maybe you could look back five years. Okay, what was Fat Phil doing? You know, that's why I have my series where I talk about my account updates every single month. So you guys can see that my progress is not like a, a 
overnight fat fills gaining 200,000 galactic power. No, it's, you know, every day we're making slow and steady progress towards that greater goal and it adds up. So hopefully, again, guys, like you're, I want you to, you know, don't just take away that, you know, size matters not, right? Um, that, you know, stay focused with who, where you are in the game. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't think that you need to be that end game, you know, relic nine everything tomorrow. It, we were all at that starting point. And the game now is easier to progress than it has been at any point in time. So, I mean, it, you really will get to places a lot quicker than the rest of us did. And that's a good thing, right? So, again, like, just, you know, stay almost almost a better way to say it, right? If I didn't want to be perverted or whatever, you know, stay in your lane, right? Or make fun of myself, I guess. So, stay in your lane. Understand where your roster actually fits in to avoid that burnout. Don't even just, you almost have to pretend that those top guys don't exist, right? Like, just don't even care. Like, honestly, you can look at my account and be like, you know, like you guys might look at it and be like, wow, he's got so much GP. And that's the exact same thing I do with guys in my arena shard. And I just know that they're in a much different league than I am. You know, they're they're playing professional, you know, football and I'm sitting here, you know, at the high school level. And if you just started your account today, you're probably at that peewee level, right? Like you just, you know, we're not even in the same league and that's okay, right? That's, that, that's, it does not matter. All right, guys. As the Tuscan Raiders have, right, strength in numbers. What I mean here, find yourself a good guild. And a good guild doesn't just mean that you get good rewards, right? I think we so often all we talk about with guilds is you need good rewards. You need a good community there. You need that support group, that support system. My guild is amazing with that. We all support each other in any way we can. It's, it's something that I think is really important to have that healthy guild relationship where everybody can joke around have fun where you sometimes you talk about stuff that isn't even Star Wars related, right? Like my guild, we all love, uh, they are going to murder me for this and it's going to be hilarious. So well, they all love soccer. They're huge soccer fans. They love soccer. I mean, my guild leader, he is a huge, huge, huge Manchester United fan. He hates Liverpool and loves Manchester United. Shout out Lita. Um, no, but we have, we have a lot of fun making fun of each other for stuff like that. It's, that's what that's what you want in this game. We do good in, in the guild, but more importantly, we have you know we support each other and we're you know we're friends. And I think that's what's important is having that community. There are so many times, guys, you'll hear players say, "Oh man, you know, I like the only reason I'm playing this game is because of my guild." That's perfect. You're like you're still playing the game. Yes, there's new characters coming all the time, but you're playing the game, and that's what's important. You're getting it. You know, you're doing it for your guild, and and that to me is one of the best ways, right? Just Focus on that. All right, now we have, you know, speaking of focusing, right? Direct focus. So this is where, oh, there's all these new characters coming into the game, right? Like, how do I how do I deal with this? Just stay focused on what you're doing. Don't deviate. Like, uh, all these new things have come into the game and we're still plugging away on Java, right? We're not deviating from this. Like, that is the most important thing you can do. Have that direct focus on, you know, just as Jedi Knight Revan would say, right? Have that direct focus on your farming path. Deviating from it will only cause you more headache than not. Because if I was to just, for some reason, stop Jabba at the current time that I am, and I'd be like, oh, I didn't make any progress. Like, I'm so far from a galactic legend. Like, no, you're close to Jabba. You just got to, you know, get over that little bit. It's like, I think, I think a lot of times when you lose your focus, that's when you start feeling that grind a lot more because you're not you're not completing those mini milestones along the way. So just stay focused, guys. You've got to, you know, I always call it stay on target, but I thought I'd name it something different. And we're gonna say direct focus, right? Kind of go off the Genonite Revan kit here. Just please, guys, do everything you can. All right, and then change it up. So what is what do we mean here by change it up? And why do I have Basque Armor Mando? So you guys remember like the Mandalorian was this bounty hunter, and then he finds Grogu. And he completely changed the way that he operated from this bounty hunter who was only concerned with getting paid to this guy who's going to protect this little child. And now, you know, spoilers, raise him to be a Mandalorian, right? Um, I love that they do that within, you know, the show. And again, I don't want to discuss the show too much because there's so many other people that do that. You guys can go follow them. They're great. But um, if you guys want to do that, you guys can come in my server. Or if you guys want me to do that on here, I'll do it. I don't really care. You guys decide what content you want to see. I shouldn't be the one to dictate that. So, but what do I mean here in terms of Galaxy of Heroes? If you're somebody who's spending money and you're feeling burnout, maybe stop spending for a little bit. That's a great way to avoid that burnout is change up the way that you're playing. Figure out how you can make your account, you know, how can you can find different enjoyment. Myself, 
I had to stop focusing on GAC for a little bit. I was really, really getting down about GAC for a while where I just was, you know, doing all this research and when I'd lose, I mean, it would ruin my day when I would lose. And that was just, that's, that was ridiculous, right? I was being absolutely absurd. Like that's not the way I should be playing. So I had to take a step back and honestly, my GAC in some ways got better because I just wasn't caring as much. So I was willing to take some risks that if I lost, I lost, whatever, you know, and if I won, it was great. So change it up. Maybe instead of focusing on GAC, you focus on territory wars or territory battles or conquest and just constantly change that up because eventually you're going to hit that point where you kind of plateau, right? Like in GAC, I kind of have this like ceiling where once my skill rating hits about like 3,500, I'll just plummet like a rock. Like I just can't compete with those guys right now. And that's fine. So I, I hit that and I'm like, okay, as long as I stay in that range, I can focus in some other areas of the game. If my GAC rank starts falling, okay, maybe I need to go back, change it up and do that. And that's been one of the ways I've really avoided burnout is just constantly shifting how I'm upgrading my roster to focus on a new aspect of the game and kind of always like going after that goal, right? That you have these goals. So maybe your goal is, okay, I want to hit max crate and conquest. So you finally hit max crates and conquest. You're like, all right, next goal. I want to do good in territory battles, territory wars, whatever, guys. Find what works for you. So I don't know. Those are my tips for how I've avoided burnout, right? I know it's not, I don't know if that's what you guys want to hear, but I think that's, it, there's not this trick of, oh, go farm these characters, go do that. It's a lot of stuff of just like understand capital games as a plan, right? That this game's going to be around for a while. So it's okay to take a long time to do something, you know, celebrate those small milestones along the way you know, why do you think, like, I love this, right? You think, like, you could almost compare this game to life, right? That, why do you celebrate your birthday? That's a milestone of your life. It's a, it, you know, birthdays aren't, like, it's not like, you know, well, we're always like, oh, it's not a huge deal after you turn 21, right? But, I don't know, it's a day that you get to look forward to to say, you know what, like, I made it another year on this planet, like, you made it another year in the game, you made it to another great mod, like, you gotta celebrate it, guys, you know, get, get the, you know, do the, get the small things. You know, again, uh, size matters not, as my wife loves to say. Uh, just stay in your lane. Stay focused on where you are in the game. Don't try and compare yourself to something that you're not. You like, I 100% would admit that I do not compare myself to somebody. Like, you know, I mentioned Fatal from the trivia game. He's top, like, right now, as of today, he's top eight in GAC at the time of recording. I can't compare myself to him. Like, that's just ridiculous. He's a much better player than me. He's got a much bigger roster than me. But... I can compare myself to somebody who's around my GP and see, okay, are they the same GAC ranking as me or not? Like, that's the kind of stuff you have to do, right? So, you know, just know, know your lane, stay in your lane and size matters not, guys. <laughs> oh, please. Um, remember, guys, you know, strength in numbers. Find that guild that's not only going to get you good rewards, but that's going to provide that community, those people that you can go and talk to and enjoy, you know, spending time with on your Discord server. I mean, that's, it's so important to do that. Like that for so many people, the only reason they play is this community. And honestly, I could say the same thing that I, there's so many people in this community that I really, really have enjoyed. Former guild mates, current guild mates. I mean, you guys are all amazing. I couldn't, there's not enough room for me to shout out everybody I would need to there. Remember guys, stay focused. Don't try and deviate from your path. You want to complete those goals. You want to stay focused farming because there's always new things coming into the game and you've just got to stay focused on what your current plan is. And that once you complete that task, you know, myself, I'm going to get Java. Okay, I want to get Inquisitors. That's the next thing. And after Inquisitors, I really don't have some ideas of what I would do, but maybe there's time for me to adjust then because I've done these major milestones that I've been working towards. So that's kind of how you can farm some of those newer things. It's just, all right, you completed something. How does it match up with what you're doing now? And then finally, guys, change it up change up your focus. Don't just stay focused in one game mode all the time. You're going to get burnt out because you will hit that point where you're going to plateau. You think about it. If you're like, I want to get perfect in territory battles. Well, once you get there, what more is there to do in that game mode? You've got to go find another one to master. And then eventually what will happen is you'll master that other game mode and then there'll be new things in territory battles to do. So that's why I say change it up, right? Keep it fresh. Keep moving around, focusing on those different game modes and work to complete the entire game rather than just one small piece of it. That's the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully you don't get burnout. You know, if you're getting burnout, fine, you know, stay playing this game, guys. It's so important that this community sticks together. There are so many people here to support you. So that's it. 
I love all of you. May the force be with you. And again, if you're still watching, go check out the trivia game with Yuke's Maru, guys. Give him a sub. Give him a follow. Thank you all. I love you. May the force be with you. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.